yesterday, uh, Gaijin announced the the LVT A1. It's a uh, amphibious tank with a 37 millimeter cannon on top and two guys with machine guns in the back. It has like no armor, but it makes up for it in having a lot of crew members and a lot of room, so it's hard to kill. Oddly enough though, they put it in the heavy tank line for America. They seem to be trying to have for every nation wanting to have one light slash medium tank for reserve and one heavy tank for full reserve. So this is going to be the uh, heavy tank, quote unquote, for America Reserve. There's that new Panzer III for the uh, Germans. Personally, I'm very much looking forward to this tank. I like amphibious tanks because they're silly and you can take different routes that most people want to think of. Although this one's tier one, so it doesn't matter what you do, you just gotta shoot everything because it's a tier one. Like, nothing really, like, there's a reason why that one British um, AA vehicle rules there. The real meat of this episode, hopefully, will be with the announcement of trauma packs, which basically revive a crew member. A lot of people are like really against this because Last Man Standing was removed and they were all happy and this is like oh it's like Last Man Standing. A lot of people don't get though Last Man Standing with a guarantee happen while this just revives a crew member. For example if your commander dies you use it and your commander is revived again to get killed. Um, but the other thing that's really annoying them is that if you uh, have two crew members left and one dies, it auto gets used to revive a crew member. But see, that's not what Last Man Standing is. Sure, they'll be alive in a tank with one person, but another person's coming back, and I don't think they can switch around. Maybe they can, I don't know. It also has a, like a time to it. So, it's not really like Last Man Standing. A lot of people are freaking out about this. And really, I think it's just another sense of, like, main fan just being kind of dumb. A lot of the people there are not the brightest. Being able to revive crew members is something that I've been wanting for quite some time now. It gets really annoying when you have a tank with a big gun and has a long reload time and your loader dies and the reload time gets just unrealistic entirely. So now you can revive your commander and um, he will take the loader's position. <laughs> It'll be nice for tanks with only two crew members. Give them a, a second chance. The main issue that I hold with this though is that every tank that you've spaded you're gonna have to go and respade. Because every tank's getting this. So, and this new module, so you better get ready to go research all of them. Remember that tier 5 that you spaded and you're so proud of yourself? Well, it's not spaded anymore. Woo! Yeah, so uh, that's been my little news update. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. And if you don't want to see more, send me hateful comments in the comment section and I will read them and cry.